I'm in love with fishing and fishing's what I do. And if you wanna try them up, I'll take you fishing too. Maybe in the morning, in the day or at night. It don't really matter, I just wanna get that bite. We may catch a limit or maybe just a few. But even if the fish don't bite, just being out here will do. We may fish the ocean or river running free. And if you catch the biggest one, it'll be alright by me. Yes, I'm in love with fishing and fishing in my life. So grab your phone and go with me. This is the life of a fisherman wife. Let's go pull them in. <laughs> Let's hey guys, this is your girl Linda with the Life of a Fisherman Wife with the guy she always does it with her fishing Ed. What's up? And his friend Rob. <laughs> <laughs> We're in his backyard today. Yeah. Uh, this evening. This evening. After tonight. Work. Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> <laughs> guys, we're going to see can we get up on these fish right quick. We'll right. see you when we do. Oh, you got them? There you go. Oh, this is a nice yeah, one. that's a nice you can one. Pull them over the water again. <laughs> this is a nice one. Yeah, that's a good one. This is better than a good one. This is good, good. Oh, All right. I see my barber bounce. That's why I keep looking back. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, I finna tell you don't pull. Let him come out. Once he wrapped around that pole, you should have you should have gave him some slack. <laughs> he gone. He gone. Yeah, you can't if he wrap around something, you can't just keep pulling like that. You either gotta get some slack or let some slack in your line and walk over on the docks and 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 hold your arm out. <laughs> well you was already pulling when I looked over there. Don't you be so fast to try to get him in. That's what you don't. <laughs> A lot of time, if you see him going toward that uh, a, structure. a structure, if you if you stop pulling, they're, they're they'll change direction. Okay. I knew that. A lot of times, sometimes they won't, but a lot of time they will. There you go. Oh, he took that down, and you didn't get him. I ain't say you didn't try. I just said what the, the obvious was. You didn't get it. All right. I seen them guys over the dock catch catch a couple of bluegill too. We just got here. We got to see where they're at. See, they're gone now. See, see, you, you, I told you, you'd be ready to move too quick. Huh? No, I just said you'd be ready to move too quick. If you don't get a bite, you'd be like, oh, they ain't biting over there. They might be biting over here. <laughs> That's a good one. I'm going to hold them away from the camera. So, Uh-oh, you had that one. He gone. He he did a good. You, yeah, he's he sunk that one good. Okay. Day is two, two. Uh, what Tuesday? Yeah, Tuesday. that's right. Uh, that's a nice one. Yeah. Oh, that was Sunday, I think actually, but they. Uh... It went down right out looking at you. It just if you flinch. Yeah. But the one that, the, he gone. The day that it was sunny, they're, they're shut down. Okay. They seem like the overcast. 
Yeah, too, cause that uh, that water clear. Once that sun come out, you can see through that water, so they can see see us better. When that water, that sun is out, that's a good one there too. I don't like this thing on my neck. Every time I snatch, the whole thing go crazy. That's a good one. I'm gonna hang this thing on the tree or something. Nope, I'm hanging on the tree or something like a, like a stand. All right, guys, he gone. That's a handful. Well, they coming in and out. That's a good one too. Got it. Two piece. Oh, he came out. Yeah. Two piece. Keep yours. Till I get this one in. Once their buddies are back, they calm down. And yeah. Okay. <laughs> yours bigger. Much bigger. Yeah, mine is much bigger. Yeah. All right. All right. Get some more. He gone. They gone. If I get over you, just let me know. Because, you know, I have no aim. Yes, sir. I just started up and I can't see your door. Yeah, plus I can't see your line either. Take, take your blade out and cut a hook. <laughs> <laughs> take your blade out and cut my hook. I got to know. Oh wow. Oh wow, he got a big bird's nest. Yeah. I got a big boy. Oh, there's another one. Yeah. Miss mine. You about to see, you can talk about me snatching. That was a snatch snatch. Cause when you look back and they're gone, ain't nothing you can do but try to get them. Oh, yeah? But they were little. <laughs> oh, okay. The bluegill, well, maybe a little bit bigger than those bluegill, but not much. Yep, I believe that's what it is, the, the uh, bluegill biting at the middle. He got it, too. All right. Well, that, you know, if the crappie are back here, I wonder if they're at the bridge. Because those guys haven't gotten a I heard, oh. Oh yeah, we fished there uh, the other day and we didn't get anything, but that don't mean they not in there today. Yep. Yeah, the overcast day. Yeah, overcast day in that water. Got them that time. I switched to red worms, guys. We running low in wax worms, so there you go. I also, uh, yeah, smaller one. I also got a pink and white. Uh, Marabou hair jig. So there it is. That works good. All right, we're gonna let that little fella go. He gone. I've even been out here. It's an ice fishing rod. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's where I, when I'm walking outside doing the whole hopping. Uh huh. You know, I I got a, a thing just like that for my uh phone okay and uh i walk along with that little puck on a string i drop it in the water uh-huh and then i'm using uh my sonar that Tiny way one. okay because it's a lot lighter yeah and when we're getting the bass are on uh -huh. like geneva when it's like that i get the fish i drop it in the hole and then i'll like skip a hole oh yeah and we go oh my gosh at least from there to, to even past where the houses are over there. Oh, yeah? Um, and about every 10 or 15 feet you're moving. Oh, wow. Um, okay. I sit on the six-wheeler drilling holes. And, <laughs> uh, like we started 25, then 30, then 35, then 40, then 45 feet. Okay. And we just drilled. The thing is, when you find the depth that they're holding, uh -huh. then you just, uh, one guy can start at one end, one guy can start at the other end you work towards each other right yeah you, that you pass each other and you go back you know um, okay it's uh 
And if when the bass are stacked up in this area of where we get to, mm -hmm. um, it's one after another after another, and they're all four and five pound bass. Oh, okay. Oh, so, my uh, God. <laughs> that, that's on Lake Geneva. That's one of the spots where I won't take it to. Okay. <laughs> um, there's another one right off of downtown. If people knew how easy it was ice fishing, you could walk right to it. Yeah. If, if you look with the camera. My bad. Uh -huh. It's not marked by anything. You have to find it by luck. When you find what's there under the water, uh -huh. you will see bass. They're not, and it's only when it's ice is up, they will be in an area 10 foot wide diameter circle. Huh. But from uh, where you're at down to 30 foot depth. Oh, wow. And, uh, That's a good one. That's a good one. Yep, yep. That could be a crappie. Uh, I I think it's a, a gilly circling a lot. Oh, yeah. No, he was just wrapped. He had his oh, fin yeah. wrapped around there. That's a yep. lighter color. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a lighter a nice color. One. He's light. Yeah, let's see yours. Oh yeah, see see the two difference. Yeah, yours is lighter and mine's darker. Yeah. You got both of them in there? Yeah. Yeah. All right. We're gonna let them go. Darker, they've been in the shallow water for a while. Lighter, they've been in deeper water. But yeah. It's dark, they don't get the sun. Right. My thing came with loose when I did that. Yeah, no. Six thirty. Six thirty. We leave at seven, I guess. <laughs> you gotta get a few more. Yeah. Looks like it's time for me to start changing up line again. Oh, yeah. What you got on there? On this, it's a, I'm sure it's only four pounds. Okay. But it's an ultralight rod, you know? Yeah. I like to keep it real light. Yeah. Yeah, I got I got six on this. Yeah, the other one I got two pound test. Okay. But that's it. I'm getting a lot more line twist, and that's what it is. Yeah. You know? If I had the, if the boat was there, I would just take all my lures off, let out the line as I uh, trolled out. Uh -huh. and once I ran out of line, reel it back in. Right. A little untwist, but uh, I guess I'm gonna have to find a different method, <laughs> like replace the line. Yeah. I tell you what, they don't mind. Now with this wind, this wind seems to uh, turn Oh, he came off. <laughs> yeah, they don't seem to mind if it's if it's red worm or uh, wax worm. Well, look at I'm not using anything. Right, you use. Yep, you you're know, using lures. But most of mine are hitting. As soon as it hits the water, they're they're just wham. Right. It. Yep. There you go. Got him then. That's another good one. I can tell when it's a good one because when I'm reeling, he pulled that that uh, reel all the way down to my finger. What helps you uh, with all these weeds here, you've got live bait. You don't have to move it. Right. It'll come to you. Right. Me, I have to keep moving. Yeah, that artificial, you have to keep yep. moving. This, I can uh -oh. bump it, let it sit still, bump it, bump it again, let it sit yep. still. All right, he's gone. Another one of them lighter color ones. They are pretty, though. They both must have just catch fish. Yeah. Those uh, copy gotta be somewhere. Right. And then when did the stripers spawn? Uh I, I think I think they spawn like right after the bluegill and and the crappie. So Well that seemed like at the uh when the bluegill were slowing up here. That's when we did start getting uh, a bunch of those stripers. Oh, okay. It? Yeah, it was. Yeah. Oop, he came out right there. Quick release. Oh, she got him. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I don't want this one. I want that I one. I want that one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this one right here was barely hooked. Yeah, we had him yeah, by the skin of his teeth. <laughs> yeah. This is a kind of a nice lake. Right? Yeah, this is a nice lake. I love this lake. Yeah. Yeah, this was the first one to use the launch over there with this kayak. Oh, was he? Okay. 
Did he catch anything? No, he don't fish. Oh, he just went riding? Yeah. Uh-oh. I forgot about that tree. The only time Chris has went fishing, it was for my birthday. We went out on Lake Michigan, and he got a steelhead in the lake there. Oh, nice. Yeah, he's got a picture. Yeah, yeah, they were both real nice fish, too. Nice. So, Two-piece. Yeah, you look small. I seen him. He growing up. He looked small when he hit the top of the water, but he he decent. He decent. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He decent. Yeah, he's decent. Mine not that much bigger than that one. He gone. He got a hook in his tail right He there. do. I think the red worms out doing the whack on now. You think so? So yeah, I just caught four. You just caught that one. <laughs> I'm going to get another one before you Oh, I feel so I'm going to get another one before you get that one back I uh, got some poppers out On a little rod You just, it, it would be phenomenal Yeah Because if they're hitting that jig when it hits the water Yeah You, you throw a little popper out here And uh, Yeah I could be using a cane pole for yep. that And just slaughter them Yeah I got that 14 foot crappie rod it's over at Jim's house. It's a spinning rod. Okay. 14 footer. It's that Mr. Crappie. Yeah. Uh, you, you, they used to have them at all the fishing shows. That's where I got it. Um, okay. See, photo one. <laughs> yeah, the bites over here is a lot better than over there. <laughs> hold up, Lenny. Hold up. He, yeah. You can see me at first. That's a good one, too. Look at that fella. Yep. Yes, sir. Uh, that, see, here's the thing. They're, they're not fat yet. They're not yeah. full of eggs. Some of nope. those got to be females. Yeah, they, they staging they, they're right now. Here, they're not in here to spawn yet because nope. the females aren't fat yet. Right. You know, it ain't warm enough. I think they just staging, trying to pick their spots and yep, getting, re yep. getting ready. Yep. Hey, the water's warmer. It's a new feeding area. Yeah. The bugs are really popping out, I'll bet, with all this stuff. Yeah, I mean, I've never seen mosquitoes, I don't think, this early, but we have been having a lot of warm days, but, man, we had some cold days in between. I thought all the mosquitoes would die off, but they didn't. Is that that kid's hat? Oh, it is. <laughs> oh, he lost his hat. The wind took it on crawl there. Fire the one. <laughs> well, I'm paying you back. I'm paying you back when you be talking about you're gone. See, you don't want to catch up. <laughs> no, I don't want no ketchup. I like mustard. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, really, I keep on leaving you then. <laughs> Six to one. Uh oh, we're in the same spot. Okay, let's see if he, what he's going to prefer. Six to one. Bump, bump. Like neither one. <laughs> neither one. I'm like, oh, I don't like two hooks. I can't make up my mind. Why you bump every time I bump? You scared I'm going to get one with my bump? <laughs> there was a little nibble, that looks like. Yeah. I got the nibble first. You got the nibble first? Who's going to get the takedown first? I think I'm gonna recast mine. Well, I got a little bit of nipple just Did you? Yeah, I'm gonna recast mine. Yeah, yeah they seem to be out there a little ways. Did he nibble my one? Looks like the kids gave it. up pretty quick. Oh, they did. They didn't stay long at all. He probably trying to decide if he can catch that hat over here somewhere. <laughs> on that bank over there somewhere. Unless he, if he live on the other side, there you go. I missed. You just catch up. <laughs> it do kind of like a flip flop, don't it? Yeah, he did have some flip flops in his hand. It is a flip flop. Yeah, that's what it is, a flip flop. This is a nice one. Yeah, that's a good yeah, one. I don't see his hat. I wonder if it's sunny. <laughs> and that's what sucks with the wind. It probably blew everything right off. The right off the dock, cause it blew my my bait off the dock, and I had to catch it. Yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah, he gone. Yeah. Oh, there you go. I see it. 
the flip flop. Hey, why? Yeah. If they if he a polar plunge, he a walk in the water. This ain't nothing. Uh oh. Yeah. Bond determined to catch up with you. Yeah, she's trying. <laughs> no, you don't like catch up. I'm finna get down so. You don't like ketchup. I don't like ketchup. I like mustard. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm finna catch another one and leave you some more. Two to seven. Mustard don't leave you. <laughs> what time you got? You gone? Oh, no, you ain't. Time to catch another fish. Okay. Well, you won't spend the night, look like, huh? He gone. You well, see, you I got to help you. Me, I got to help you. You over gone. Oh, I missed oh, mine. Oh man, few quick on it. This is a small one. Yeah, that's a small one right she there. Told me to see what time it was, and that's what I was trying to well, do. Well, I'm kind of surprised that there's uh, no bass because I nailed a few bass in here. Yeah, I'm surprised too. Yeah, and crappie. Look like some crappie, but they probably come yeah. in in a few days. That was a yellow crappie. Oh, foot. We got so those uh, black crappie um, are huge. Yeah. I seen the kids over there catch some right off the bridge there and they were humongous. Oh nice. But that was uh it was a lot warmer out. That was a hot summer day. Oh okay. I know those guys keep them that the kids do. Yeah. There's just too many of them that are there. You know, one group comes, another one goes. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm I got the ketchup. I think I will graduate from mustard. <laughs> I think I got the ketchup now. Oh, quick release. Yeah. I tell you what, this is my last time wearing this thing. Last time. Yeah. I like that one because I can see what I'm doing. I can see what I'm doing on the other one, but this thing right here just in the way. It stick way out. Stick out a foot and a half from your chair. I don't need for it to be out there for. Uh, I had that one. I felt them temporarily. She gonna get a bite in two cash. She said they quit. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't biting over here. They done quit. You just you can't get one every time you cast. <laughs> I know you do. That's why you get disappointed when you don't get them. But sometimes you have to have a little patience for them. I haven't got you. You caught two since I caught one. I've missed three. But uh, I know where it is. I got to put my, I got that little bit of red worm on. I got to go with the bigger one. But you see this wench that I got? Oh, yeah. So I can take this off and hook it up onto the back of my ATV if I wanted. Okay. Yeah, even my truck back there somewhere, I could make a thing. Yeah. You know, but uh, at work, I was, uh, I'm thinking I'm going to make it first in the garage. Uh huh. Just on a board so that uh, I can, when I'm making ropes and doing the eyelets, you know, when I'm uh, doing that. Okay. I feel what the heck they call it. I just missed another one. Alright, I ain't going to miss this one. I ain't going to miss this one. If I miss this one, he's just holding on to the tail of that red worm and not getting that whole hook. I was going to go get another rod, but it's like, yeah, it's with my luck. <laughs> it's gonna do the same thing. <laughs> Both of those you just tangled up had the same line on it. No, the other one had the, that blue ice line. Oh yeah, yeah. The real quicker too is uh, 
because like that is a four pound test it sinks a lot faster yeah if it sinks too far that, that i get that the fouled out with the weeds right away it seems like yeah that's true you're gonna sink down in no weeds yeah so just keeping it higher when i'm reeling in and ready to set the hook with it that's what i like about the, those rods is that that other ones are so noodly you know that it just really well yeah. i'll go grab it and show it to you okay What time did you say it was? Alright, we're gonna leave at seven. Oop, dang! How would I get from running my mouth, not paying attention? <laughs> I was getting a lot of bites over there. I wanna go down there, but. I'm gonna be too far away from you. Now I'm gonna get right on the edge of this boat and throw over there. Yeah, that's what they were. They biting the tail. Exactly what that is. Got him that time. I knew I, I knew I was getting some bites down on that mental, and I felt like it was a bluegill keep kept biting it, but never would take it. I'm telling you, muskies at this time of the year, and it ain't even warm yet, man. I mean, not to stay. I mean, it's 70 today, was 70 yesterday, but it's gonna be 50s tomorrow, and 40s before the weekend. And then go back up to 50 by the weekend. That's another one. All right. There's a reason why this reel was in my don't use pile. Yeah. Oh. See what happens? Yep. Oh, yeah, that happened to me. These are only 20 bucks. For I got one. Rods. I got one just like it, man. I got a, I, I buy a whole bunch of them every year because I bring yep. the tips off. Yeah. These are the, my disposable rods. Okay. And as the tips break off, uh, I. A lot of times put a different eyelid on it and use uh -huh. it for something else. Right. Um, but I start out because when I'm ice fishing out in the open, I can do it, keep this right up by the hole. Right. That's the whole secret. Okay. You know, because with the wind and everything, you're not going to see the bite from them. Right. Bass. And and this is what I use for getting those cool bass through the ice. Nice. I can't, my problem is I can't even take pictures because you'd say, hey, I know where those buildings are. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I can show you the, the, some walleye spots. Yeah. Um, over on Geneva. And I'll show you some on uh, Dullivan, too. Oh, okay. we got to have some ice. The nice thing is I got that uh, quad, so now we can pull the shacks. Even if you um, got to walk, you know, because they won't allow you to ride. Okay. Up, yeah. Um, we can flip the shacks over, take the covers off, and you sit in the chair and ride that way. Okay. And that's perfectly legal. Now you can, uh, they won't let you put it on the ice here, but you can put it on the ice in Wisconsin. Yep. Good. Yeah. But uh, and I, I'm sure I will, so I want to get out there. Yeah. To the main lake. Um, but yeah, I'll use it in Wisconsin. Um, I gotta get a trailer. Okay. I could use Jeff, my buddy Jeff's got a trailer. I could use, but I'd like to have my own, you know. Right.
got him. That's a bluegill. Low one. He gone. Oh yeah. Well, you got skin out. I had one looking at me, but it didn't bite. <laughs> yeah. So, Usually they bug me more than they bug her, bro. I got on more clothes. She got her legs and ankles and stuff out. I don't. Yeah, could have got the shoe. It's probably on the bank over there now. Uh oh, what happened? Did you get in the tree? I don't know what happened then. It almost like it uh backlash. He probably got that. No, he didn't. There he is. I thought he had got it. Look, look, look what she going. <laughs> I caught one too many over there for her. She gotta go over there. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Why you went over there first? <laughs> I said, I'm going over there, but I'm going to stay over here. I would go over there, but I'm going to stay over here because you over here. Look, she did. She left me, y'all. I caught too many fish over that way. <laughs> she couldn't take it. She like my friend Dwayne back back home. He could never catch no fish because every time somebody else catch one, he would run to their spot. I'm like, you got to have some patience, man. Let it sit there for a minute. As soon as somebody else catches one, he run 10 yards that way. I don't care. I know they over there. I, over there. I don't want to call two or three over there before you went over there and took my spot. This was my spot. You remember? Uh, excuse me. You don't live here? <laughs> That's where you was catching them at last time, but you haven't been over there not one time today. Yeah, that's a nice one. I got one. All right, we got about five more minutes. We got to get out of here. Because you know you don't like driving in the dark. We got to pick your car up. Well, it ain't too late for... I mean, the longer you stay here, the longer you're going to have to drive in the dark. You're going to have to drive a little bit in it, but not a lot. Yeah. You know, if the were in here, yeah, it'd be perfect for the crappie. Yeah, but, uh, oh, that was a hit. Uh oh. That could be a little bad if I just looked at it. Yeah. Oh, Rob got one. I hope it's a crappie. A bass? Yeah, I think. A, oh, no, that might be a crappie. He's standing on top of the water. Oh, he down now. He went down then. Yeah, that's a bass. A nice one, too. Yep. He want to do that tail dance. <laughs> nice. Probably about two and a half, you think? Two and a half pounds? Two, maybe. Two pounds? Yeah, I don't think it's over two. Okay, nice. It's nice. <laughs> Healthy. <laughs> Let's see what you caught that one with. Okay, a little twister tail. Pretty good size twister yeah. tail, guys. That's why I'm catching all those stripers. See that? Too. That's what he was catching those stripers with, too. All right. I was throwing a white one earlier today, but they didn't want it. Oh, kind of like that one. During the summer, even the bluegill will take this. Yeah. Yeah, I caught, I caught, everything. yeah, I caught crappie and bluegill on that twister tail last year out here.
All right, you catch you about two more. We're going to have to go. I can, I can, I can fix you a pallet now if you want to. I know this is your favorite lake. <laughs> I don't mind driving in the dark sometimes, but you don't like driving in the dark at all. I drive for hours at night sometimes going down south. That's time to go. Yeah, less traffic. If nobody's out. Yep. Yeah. Get those good spots, nobody's there. Me and Bill generally without not if he's got clients, just me and him. Uh -huh. We're out there at least an hour before it's sun up. Okay, Before yeah. We go. We've been doing that since we were young, you know. Yeah. Because uh, right uh, just sometime just before sun up till sun up is some of the best fishing. Yes. Yeah, I've had some of my best ice fishing right before sun up. Yeah. Sometime an uh, hour an hour before sun up and an hour after sunset. You gave up? I have my worm going. I'm not going to put it on one. It's going to be the last one of the day, guys, if I get him in. Guys, we really hate to leave him bite, biting. No, it is. No, it is either. We really hate to leave him biting. But, guys, it's getting later and we have to leave in the morning. We got to let Rob go to bed so that he can go to work in the morning. <laughs> that is a nice one to end on. Look at that dude. Compare That's him. a good one to end on. That, that is a good one to end on. Yeah. Oh, he's in a bedroom, I guess. So. Oh, he said he had a tape measure there, but I guess it's gone. This one might be nine and a half, party. Yeah, oh, that may be he nine. Got one. Oh, he has one? I'm going to get y'all flipped around. Nine, a little over nine. Yeah, Head wow. at the at the tip. Wait, where you started? Oh yeah, you got to slide up a little bit more, right there. All right. He's a nine. Yeah, he's a nine. And yep. there go nine. Oh, fat nine. Ah. Oh. <laughs> fat nine. That's an actual bluegill too. Jeez. Look at. Yep. That's a Those good other one. ones we were getting were sunfish. The yeah. bluegill are a little bigger. Look how big the the, the uh, I call that the ear. Almost bigger than my thumb. All right, we're gonna let him go. You let him go and grow. He know. But guys, as we were saying before, that fish rudely interrupted. <laughs> uh, this is, has been a pleasant night. We got to get home. We hate to leave them biting. Yeah. But guys, uh, we want to thank, thank Rob. We want to thank Rob for letting us fish in his backyard. It's yep. been a pleasure. Yep. Always, always a pleasure to come yep. and fish in your backyard. <laughs> Glad you come over. Yeah, yeah we really appreciate it. Thank you. So guys, until our next adventure, we're going to ask you to make tomorrow better than today. And until next time, God bless and good fishing. Peace, Peace y'all. We out of here. <laughs> oh, that fishing's over. Sun is getting low. Yes, I caught a big one, but I just had to let him go. Yes, he was a nice one. He was the biggest of the day. Show felt mighty good to me just to watch him swim away. May not ever see him again, this I know is true. But now that he is swimming free, you might catch him too. Glad you came to fish with me, yes it was really nice. Maybe we can go again on the life of a fisherman's wife. Until next time, God bless and good fishing. Peace.